Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're making a piano in scratch. To make a piano, you press create and open an editor. Here we have the editor and the cat here in the corner. The cat is a costume. We press costumes here and we see two images of the cat. But we will not play with the cat today, we will make a piano instead. So we go to the cat over here, press upload costume, then we upload all the images that we want for the piano. Then we can remove the cat costumes here and as you see we have uh, different images here but I want them in, in the correct order so I move light green to blank then a green then I put the orange here then I have the red, then we have the grey and the yellow at the bottom. But these images are very big, so I want to see them smaller. I press the minus over here and we can see them. Like now, blank, light green, green, orange, red, grey and yellow. To make the piano work, we also need to put some code behind it. So, we go here to code. And in code, we will go to control. And here we have a lot of different options. Control, events. And we will start by having an event. And then I will make this to the left arrow. So when we press the left arrow, something will happen. What will I think so happen? Well, we will switch the costume and then we will change it to light green. When we press the left arrow like this. You see it changed to light green already, so it worked. But I will also want some music, so I press here, add extension. And we choose this music. Then we will play, when we also change the custom, we will play a note. And we will play, we press here, and you see the keyboard. I will use this key, and that is a 60. That is a C, and the notation is 60. And I will use this for 0 0.50 beats and after I've been uh, playing that one I will go back to the blank keyboard again so I will have switch costume
to black. Like this. It worked perfectly. But we need more. We need several more to make a piano. So what we do? We have this block of uh, all the um, commandos. Then we right click and duplicate. Then we move the mouse another location and then we have the up arrow when we press the up arrow then we will change to green and then we will play, play node d62 or d notation 62 and then go back to blank again. That was quick. Then we will also have one more. We will duplicate again. And put it down here. Then we will have the right arrow. Now we have the left and up and right. And we will change the color to orange we will play E or notation 64 and we also need some more we will duplicate this again and then we will take the down arrow we will change the red and play the F or notation 65. Then we will have one more. We need actually two more, but the last one is a little different. We will have the space bar and press the D or 67 if you like. And we change that to gray. For the last button, we have to do different than we did with the others. Because we will use the mouse when we click there. So, first we will have the event. Then, when we click. Then we will check forever or continuously. And then we will have a if condition to check all the time. If something happens, then we will do something else. So what we will do, if something happens, we will switch to yellow. And we would like to play a note. We will play it for 0 0.50 beats. And we will play this one, A. And then we will go back. But we also need something in here to make this work. We will press the same thing and the mouse is down. So if the mouse is down, then it will change to yellow, play the note and back again to blank. Okay. Let's save it as piano. Save now. 
Then I go to my stuff. See the panel here. We click. And also click here. And then we can start. I press the left arrow. The up. The right. The down. The space bar. And the mouse button. It looks perfect. That was all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.